My son is eating apple. Can I have some? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a mommy tag video. And I'm in my son's nursery room right now. So you can see, if you are new to my channel, my name is Sai and my son's name is Sawyer and he's 19 months old. So I decided to do this mommy tag video because I've seen a lot of mommies YouTuber do this in their channel and I think it's fun. And this is a collaboration of my YouTuber friend. She's Filipina. Her name is Alfie here in YouTube. And she also do blogs and she has two adorable kids, boy and girl. They're very cute. Please watch her video, like and comment, give her some love and tell her that I see you guys over there. Please subscribe to her channel. I will put her link in my description box. So the first question is, are you stay home or working mom? I Right now, I'm a stay home mom. Would you have it any other way? Um, I don't mind working part-time because I've done that before and since my mom's with me here with me she can watch my son and I like the fact that I can get out in the house and I also love the feeling of going home I get excited to see my son and he also get excited to see me so number three question do you co-sleep yes unfortunately yes but when he was five to nine months he sleep in his own crib but since we traveled a lot when we went to Philippines, that was three months over there, it really changed his routine because you know we don't have his room over there in my mom's house. So it's it's hard to um, to keep his routine over there, and we were having a hard time when we got back. He don't want to sleep in his own crib anymore, which is which is fine because my mom also sleep with him he sleep with my mom he sleep with us so number four question one must have gear for baby i think his high chair i think it's very important that baby eats in his own high chair we were having a hard time too when we got back from philippines uh, because he used to eat with our uh sitting in our lap and feed him with our hands and my husband was like oh no that's not gonna happen but my husband really tried his best to put back in his routine so yeah number five question how many kids do you plan on having um only two i wish it's boy and girl and i'm planning to have another one next year early next year and i hope it's gonna be a girl but if it's not it's okay it's fine <laughs> so number six date night how many nights per month honestly we don't have a date night but um we started talking about it that we should have our own day to uh, spend time together like going out for dinner and um, we decided to pick Thursday as our date night. Seven, your child's favorite show. Okay, so your favorite show is Spongebob. Every time I play Spongebob, Sawyer's get excited and dance. <laughs> Name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never end up using. I think the crib. Actually, I bought a lot of stuff that he didn't use. I didn't use I mean but the crib is the number one because I remember I think he only used that like two months only when he was like five months old since he traveled a lot he he preferred to sleep with us anymore and doesn't want to sleep in his crib and your child's favorite food my uh, Sawyer is not picky baby he eats everything and he eats vegetables he he likes cereals he likes um dried fish surprisingly he loves dried fish and he don't eat dried fish without the vinegar where we can dip in it it's very filipino very suka marian ay very good kayo kung pinoy nananak ay sige toslo 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 very good he can only eat without his dad because his dad doesn't want him to eat dried fish um number 10 how many cars does your family have we have two Number 11, weight gain before pregnancy, during and after and now. Okay, before I got pregnant, I my weight was 103 pounds. And when I was pregnant, I was 140. And now I am back to 103 pounds. Number 12, dream vacation with your kids. My dream vacation is my husband and I talk about it, the Disney World. But um, Sawyer is still very young and I don't think he will remember that. But maybe up when he will be three years old or four, that way he can remember. 
dream vacation without the kiddos. Um, I don't have a dream vacation, but my husband and I are planning to go to Europe next year on our 10th anniversary. So I think that's going to be it. Number 14, how has your life changed since your baby has been born? Oh my gosh. My life has completely changed big time, like 100% change for the better, of course. Um, well, I've been wanting to have, I've been wanting to be a mom and um, I'm already prepared for this. So um, I don't have any complaint. I love being a mom. I love giving time for my son. And it's, it's, it's the most, the hardest job in the world, but it's the most rewarding feeling. It's the best feeling in the world, I would say. And, and I'm very blessed just to have him. He, he definitely complete me as a person and as a woman. Number, um, number 15. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see blank. It makes my heart melt to see my son happy, of course. So would it be happy as a mother to see your kids happy? When I see my sons get excited and when he give me kisses and touch my face and touch my hair, I feel like he really loves me so much he just can't say it okay number 16 where do you shop for your kids i shop at target sometimes online it's easier and convenient for me and also i shop at babies are asked for a special occasion outfit number 17 favorite makeup and skincare product my favorite makeup is um i would say milani product because it's it's not very expensive and they're a very good quality product and my skincare product, I would go uh, with Cetaphil product. I've been using the Cetaphil moisturizer for five years now, and I can't live without it because it's so dry here in Arizona, and I have to have my moisturizer with me, and that's Cetaphil. Okay, number 19, have you always wanted kids? Yes, definitely yes. God knows how much I wanted to be a mom. I wanted the kids and be a mom. Um, it was not easy process. I went through failures. I went through miscarriages twice, and it was really hard. I I didn't give up. I continue to believe that I can be a mother, and here I am. And and I'm very blessed that God really answered my prayer. And I, looking at my son right now, it's unbelievable. I can't believe he's from mine. Um, it's just amazing. Overall, amazing. Last question, what is the best part about being a mom? The best part of being a mom is everything. It's not easy to be a mother, but it's the most rewarding feeling in the world. I'm so lucky that God blessed me with such precious, beautiful son I could ever ask. He's very sweet, very smart baby. I didn't expect that my son's going to be this adorable. So, um, yeah, and Sawyer is the best gift that I ever received in my life. Yeah. So that's pretty much it today, guys. I hope you like this video. And if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And until next time, bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Flankies. Give them flankies, honey. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching mommy's video.